I messed up. In fact, I have decades worth of mistakes. I want to chat about five top mistakes I made so that you don't have to make the same mistakes. I really debated whether I want to share this story because it's something that I am not proud of. It is also something that I have yet to forgive myself. But because today's topic is on mistakes and because I do want to be very open and honest with you guys, I'm going to be an open book and tell you what happened. My first mistake was having no sense of direction. 이렇게 열심히 살면 뭔가 되겠지. 그런 것보다는 머리를 써서 내가 원하는 방향으로 잘 맞춰서 가는 게 좋아요. Direction is so important. At my job, whenever we start a new project, we start the conversation with what are you solving for? What does success look like? This is one of the most important questions that we start our case studies because it helps prioritize what's important and what's not. Defining the goal is the first step. This is an example that James Clear used in his book, The Atomic Habits. When an airplane is flying from DC to New York, even one degree of direction change can lead the plane to the middle of nowhere in the ocean. So when I was in high school, here are some of the list of activities that I did. I was part of the women's basketball team, captain of crew in orchestra, English economic debate team, also was doing kendo. I even went to the 2008 Beijing Olympics as an aspiring youth athlete. By the time I was ready to write my application for college, I looked at my resume and all the activities I'd done, I realized that, oh, I was all over the place. It was a muddle. I couldn't pick out a keyword that I identify with. I wasn't connecting the dots of who I am. What was I doing all this for? 그냥 정신없이 열심히만 살았던 것 같아요. At the time, I thought that leadership was putting yourself out there and being very involved. But over the years, my definition of leadership has changed and it's more important to be decisive by being clear on what you want and deciding to spend time on things that help you get closer to to where you want to be in the future. A few years ago, a Minsago Sambinim I met for the first time said, Yujin, you are like a shooting star. And when I first heard it, I was like, wow, she's calling me a star. That's so great. I'm so flattered. But no, it actually means something very different. At Harvard Business School, Bill George talks about different levels of toxic leadership, and shooting star is one of them. Shooting star falls from the sky. You burn yourself until you disappear. Essentially, Shooting stars are maximizers, and that's what I was doing by not having a plan, not having a clear roadmap, and trying to fill my energy and time with things to do. I was blindfolded and throwing darts into the air, hoping that it would land somewhere. I did pretty well on things I decided to do, but what I ended up sacrificing was my sleep, and also a lot of my health. This unhealthy pattern continued from my high school to college to my working life. Thankfully, I've kind of calmed down in my 30s. 그 당시에는 저는 정말 파이팅이 넘치는 사람이었어요. At my job in consulting, I was, yes, Eugene. Because I never said no. I would always say yes to late night, yes to an additional proposal, yes to writing this thought leadership paper. It was really hard for me to say no because I did not know exactly what I wanted to do. I didn't know how to efficiently prioritize. Had I had a clear set of goals, it would have been much easier for me to say no graciously or find a different opportunity that serves me better. Once you have a clear goal in mind, you know what's important to you. You know where to spend your time on and you know who you want to surround yourself with. So if I could do it differently, I would tell younger Eugen, be mindful, be intentional, and be selective. One of the best strategies to do this is by finding mentors and vicariously learning from someone else's stories through books or autobiographies. I've also reached out to a lot of people through LinkedIn and asked for coffee chats. And even now, when I'm in Seoul, I reach out to friends from high school, sambes and hubes, to figure out what projects they're working on, what's something new that's going on, and to understand some of the trends that's happening. Having a good sense of direction will take time. And I hope you stay patient. 지금은 너무 많은 옵션이 있을 수 있지만 그거를 조금씩 narrow down 하면서 you soon find the direction you want to go. Also, these chats can be helpful too. I'm just one person, so your sample size is small. But as you go on to explore more, meet more people out in the world, you will learn from other people's mistakes. And you're already off to a good start. I got into a lot of mess by letting other people's opinion hurt me. There are three short stories here. In high school, I was applying to one of my dream schools for early action and I heard some classmates 
talk behind me and we were in the same classroom and they were ranking the five other students and me on the likelihood of getting into the school. They ranked me last. So that did hurt knowing that I was in the same room. Maybe I didn't have enough confidence and I was seeking external approval. You know, when you're in high school, you're just this anxious little ball. Your friend's approval really matters. But at the end of the day, what matters more is how you feel about yourself. 결국, 여러분의 가치는 여러분 스스로가 정하게 되어 있습니다. And in college too, I had a friend talk behind my back in another language that she didn't think I would understand. I felt, wow, I was doing something as a favor, but this is what I get back. It didn't feel good. Also, in my previous job, I was applying for business school and heard through the grapevine that... Someone that I thought as a mentor didn't think I was good enough to get into the schools I was applying to. But you can prove them wrong. What got me through all of this was asking myself, what would your wiser self do? And I also started journaling a lot. And not just to understand my struggles and internal insecurities, and this is what my therapist taught me, to write down on the different page the alternative thought of the positives, the what could be, the if scenarios to make me believe that this is the future that I am going to live. I know I've been journaling for many, many years. What did help with journaling was I felt like I've kind of manifested my way of life. Here's an example. Exhibit. This is one of my journals from 2016. And I have a specific page that's called Your Ideal Life. So for each month, at the beginning of the month, I would write down four to five sentences of the life that I want to live, but write it in the present tense, as if I'm already living that life. Let's see, March of 2016, this is what I wrote. The attendance for the event that I hosted hit all-time high. This is beyond insane. A and B are impressed with my execution, and so many people found the session helpful. A and B are in full support for my upcoming promotion. We'll see. But whatever happens, I know that I am meant to do great things. So my takeaway for a younger Yijin is be careful with the negative energy and the negative opinion of others. Shoot them away because you are in full control of your life. I also wish that I had valued relationships a lot more because everything in life is based on relationships. Our life is a collection of stories and the stories that we build upon each other. And you really can't do that by yourself. Young Yujin used to think, if I'm good enough, if I'm a good person, people will come to me. And this is a very selfish, self-centered way of thinking. What I wish I had done more is really put myself out there and invest that energy and time getting to know my hubes and sambes. Someone recently asked me on a date, who was your best friend? And I said, oh, it's my younger sister. We are very close. And that person looked at me strange and said, oh, isn't that a code word for having no friends? You really have to make the effort to get to know someone and all relationships, especially friendship, takes time and trust to build. As I think about the depth of relationships I've had, maybe because I was afraid of being vulnerable, I was terrified of getting hurt. I didn't want to be disappointed and feel like someone else is turning on my back. 또 제가 너무 이것저것 많이 하다 보니까 후배들이나 선배들 그리고 친구들을 챙길 시간도 없었던 것 같기도 하고요. But I soon realized that these are small worries in the grand scheme of things. Here are real life examples on how relationships can improve your life. For instance, my dad recently retired, but this year got a new job thanks to his hubei who made the introduction. This was possible because my dad really looked out for a lot of people who were younger than him. And at my job, we do this thing called due diligence calls. Before staffing a team to start a new project, we would list people that I've worked with previously and the other person worked with and exchange them, give each other calls to figure out, do I want to work with this person? And it has to be a mutual agreement. Yes, I want to work with Eugene. Yes, I want to work with this person for the project to work out. On a related note, last fall, I got a random call from my work phone and the number was a Switzerland number. Oh, people from Swiss doing spam call? I'm going to take this call and figure out what's going on from Switzerland. Turns out it was a senior partner on the business trip and he called to ask for my opinion on whether a director that I used to work with is ready to be promoted to partner. 
and I enthusiastically said yes immediately. But don't you wonder what would have happened if I said otherwise? 근데 제가 만약 아이 사람은 아직 준비가 안 됐어요. 이 사람과 일하는 걸 굉장히 싫어했습니다. 라고 말했으면 어떻게 됐을까요? All these relationships you build over time will naturally translate to your reputation. So protect it at all cost. We are social creatures and this place is smaller than you think. My matchmaker sent me on a blind date. The conversation was going well. He asked me all of a sudden, 아 혹시 고등학교 어디 나오셨나요? And I thought, huh, what a weird question to ask. It's been ages since I graduated. I answered, 저는 강원도에 있는 기숙사 학교에 나왔습니다. And he immediately asked, 몇 기세요? Turns out that he was a 7기 선배님. So you never know where you will come across again in life. Whether that be through work, through a job introduction, asking for a referral, or even on dates. Previously, I said that people's opinions can hurt you, but people can also heal you. A few months ago, I went back to see my favorite high school teacher, and the place had more meaning because of her. 보통 장소라는 게그 사람과 그 사람과 쌓은 추억 덕분에 더 의미가 있어집니다. Some tactical thing I started doing to make sure I stay in touch with my friend group was on my Google Calendar, I have a separate calendar called B, B for birthdays. Every time I find out about a friend's birthday or a colleague's birthday, I would add it to my calendar so that I have an annual reminder and send them a quick happy birthday note. So I hope you continue to be kind and help others, especially your friends, your hubes and sombes. Believe it or not, I hated studying. 저는 공부를 굉장히 싫어했던 학생입니다. Once I got a 70 on the score and thought like, wow, good job me. My mom and I used to joke that C's and D's on report cards stand for Christian Dior. And as proof, I have some journals. So let's look at exhibit A. This is my journal when I was in third grade. On year 2000, March 7th, Tuesday. 제목, 일기는 누가 만들었을까? 아, 난 여태까지 일기만 써왔다. 그 지겨운 일기를... 점점점점. 난 당장 일기를 만든 분에게 가서 따지고 싶다. 왜 일기를 만들었는지. Here is another example. This is my journal as a fourth grader, and I wrote this journal in English. It is 2002, September 5th, also a Tuesday. Title, Study. Learning and studying was the worst thing I've ever done in my whole life. Let me just give you some reasons why I hate studying. But here is another entry I wrote many years later. This is a journal I carried with me from 2014 to 2018. It's five-year journal and I would come back to the same page on the exact date. So, on January 18th, 2016. 나 지금 오피스에서 일기 쓴다? 보통은 심심할 때 쓰긴 하지만 현재 시간은 새벽 1시 18분. I went from complaining that I don't want to write journals to writing journals for fun and continuing that habit. So what changed? Do you remember this video that I posted a few months ago? On top of that, I love to learn. So what changed? I shifted my mindset. 피할 수 없으면 즐기자. And this really started a lot in high school. I felt like I was stuck in the middle of nowhere. All I had to do was study. And if this is what I had to do for a really long period of time, I could maybe turn it into a game and make it a bit more fun. I also shifted my mindset by using the word learning instead of studying. There's a huge difference if you look at the words here too. Do you see that? 자, 배움의 즐거움을 꼭 아셨으면 좋겠어요. And I hope you continue to experience the joy of learning. For instance, my mom, she's turning 60 soon. She's self-studying Japanese. She recently passed JLPT. We'll be traveling to Japan together soon. I would love to see her speak Japanese there. While seeing my mom learn a new language, I noticed how focused and lively she was. And she said verbatim, Yujina, 배우니까 시간이 정말 잘 간다. Because she was having so much fun. 
My dad is an avid reader and he likes to pound in my head, Eugene, you have to read this book, The Upheaval, you have to read this one, Bones, Germs, and Steel. I have yet to read those books. He approaches reading like finding gems, stories that he can share with his friends over lunch in their family group chat to say, oh, this is something new. Isn't that interesting? Both of them had a mindset that it's not studying, but in fact, they are learning. That seems like a very subtle difference, but to me, it meant a lot. Learning never ends. You will be a student for the rest of your life. Your input is going to later translate into your output. And if you think of it that way, I hope learning becomes a lot more interesting. 직장은 실전입니다. It's a lot more pressure. Even at work, I see a lot of documents in PDF, sometimes hundreds and thousands of pages. I have to digest them to make sure that I have a synthesis going into a case study. At work, you will get a report card every day. But these report cards are hidden, as in you will not see an actual letter grade. It's more complicated, but people will collect data around how you work, what you did well, and what you didn't do well. One day, you might not be there anymore. And when that happens, what you know, your experiences, and all the things that you have learned will get you to your next stop. It's never too early. Start loving to learn. PR Sopsum and Tirgigo, Quingjangi, Timiki Tirgiseo. Last but not least, Tiga is a Bajamago to Hedel Yeginen, Igor Bardel Hea de Tibarti, Cominer Zumaniasoyo, Yorobuni Toy Deso, Anjo Ninjig is in game Otkadi, Cockton or Hekodno. Can they owner Jodega, Shirsu in Mankum? 그리고 여러분들이 저와는 같은 실수를 하지 않기 위해 말씀드립니다. So back in 2014, when I graduated Berkeley in May, I gave the commencement speech for the econ department in front of 3,000 students. Graduating class of 2014! A lot of people think, oh, isn't that something to be proud of? But that's the day I want to erase from my brain. My mom and my younger sister flew from Korea to see my graduation. And it's been my mom's first time in decades visiting the States. She had a matching white tweed dress, permed her hair, did her makeup, and was really excited to see me. But because my dad couldn't make it, I hired a student photographer who could record my speech. But the photographer forgot to bring batteries for the camera. So when I got off the stage and found out that none of the speech was recorded, I was angry. I was mad and I immediately shut down. I stopped talking, I ignored my mom and my sister and just had a really terrible day. And I felt like a horrible daughter. My mom decided to book a different hotel for the night because she was very uncomfortable being with me. And I could see that my mom was really hurt. So that was ugly illusion, very bad. I share this because I just have a lot of regrets. When we are really close to someone, especially family, we tend to think that they will always be there. Know that your time with family is so precious and it's something that you can never get back. The last time I lived with my parents was in middle school and I see myself living and working in the States for the time being. Life in the United States as an international can be very lonely. When you're working in the States, also with the time difference, it's hard to catch up. It's hard to convey all the details over a phone call. And sometimes you just want to hug after a really rough day from work. But at the end of the day, those are the people who are rooting for you, who have your back no matter what, who will always tell you, ah, 잘하고 있어, 진짜 잘했어, 너무 수고했다. So remember to tell your mom you love her and your dad too. On the brighter note, I will continue to make more memories by traveling with my parents, taking them to great places, and making them laugh and smile. My list of mistakes could go on, but for now, you should go on with your day. In the meantime, if you have any comments, questions, or feedback, feel free to reach out to me by commenting below or sending me an email. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy.